Hello, and welcome to this presentation of the STM32MP1 Security Architecture Overview. The STM32MP1 Security Architecture is based on ARM Trust Zone technology. ARM Trust Zone splits resources between two execution environments, namely secure and normal non-secure worlds. Cortex-A7 supports ARM v7A architecture with the security extension. It is at the root of the split environment. SOC Interconnect features security gates, also known as stubs. Check for permissions at various levels of the SOC Interconnect at AHB bus and AHB2 APB bridge level and block any unauthorized access to security-sensitive resources. Trust Zone Memory Adapters, or TZMAs, support division of on-chip RAM and ROM memories in secure and non-secure regions with a granularity of 4 kilobytes. Trust Zone Address Space Controller, or TZC, supports classification of DDR address ranges into regions with secure or non-secure access. Security-sensitive resources, Trust Zone Aware, have local access control. The security properties of components can be enumerated as Trust Zone Capable IP, Cortex A7 subsystem, including L1 and L2 cache, MMU and GIC with security extension. MDMA implements security per channel. DAP, debug access port to secure debug via authentication interface. Secure IPs. Unconditionally secure or right secure. Securable IPs. Peripherals and on-chip memories which can be programmed via ETZPC to be secure, right secure, or non-secure. Trust zone aware IPs. Peripherals sensitive to security with some local features to become secure. Non-secure IPs. Memory adapters. TZMA to segment SysRAM and ROM memories into secure and non-secure regions, TZC, or DDR, to segment DDR memory in multiple regions with secure non-secure rights. Note, non-secure regions may be filtered per master according to its end set. This is the block diagram of the STM32MP1 security architecture. The key components are Secure IPs, which are unconditionally secure, these are ETZPC, ETZC, and AXIMC. TZMA0 and TZMA1 used to define secure regions in ROM and SysRAM. Securable IPs. The security of these IPs is defined by ETZPC. Trust Zone Aware IPs. BSEC, RTC TAMP, MDAM, PWR, RCC, EXTI, and GPIOZ. Access to non-secure resources by the secure world is always possible. Access is illegal when the non-secure world attempts to access secure resources. Error behavior for illegal access are Illegal accesses are always denied. A write access is ignored and a read access returned with zero. The options to flag errors can be either a silent fail, bus errors, or interrupts. Default settings. There are no unique rules, but IPs are mostly non-secure by default. For TZ-Aware IPs, please refer to IP description. Securable IPs and TZMA are secure by default with bus error response on illegal access. Securable peripherals are controlled by ETZPC DECPROT bits. DECPROT 1 to 0 bits are encoded as 0B00 secure, 0B01 write secure, 0B11 non secure. Note 0B10 is either reserved or used to control MCU. The DECPROT bits associated to securable peripherals and to MCU RAMs are listed in this table. Securable IPs are Service Peripherals for Secure Application, USART 1, SPI 6, I2C4, and I2C6, Cryptographic Accelerators, 
CRIP1, HASH1, RNG1. System peripherals, STEN-C, IWDG1. BKPS RAM, which is securable with erase on tamper. And DDRCTRL and DDRPPHYC are made securable if concerned by Trust Zone Address Space Controller, or TZC. BSEC is used to control the device lifecycle, debug authentication, and to store secrets in OTP. BSEC is Trust Zone Aware. See BSEC Training. BSEC is composed of three regions control interface registers, lower OTP shadow registers, upper OTP shadow registers. Read and write permissions are set according to OTP modes. Clock gating and reset control of a secure IP can only be modified by secure access. RCC provides a dedicated secure interrupt about clock security. RCC security is controlled by two bits. TZEN and MCK PROT, which are write secure. For more details, see the Product Reference Manual RCC section. Power mode control of a secure IP must be modified only by secure access. PWR security is controlled by the bit TZEN from RCC. PWR security consists of preventing a non secure write to Change settings of VBAT and temp monitor, PVD and AVD. Change the low power deep sleep and RAM low power settings. Change the backup domain write protection. Change the backup regulator, retention regulator, 1V8 regulator, 1V1 regulator, and USB 3.3V voltage level detector settings. Change the backup battery charging settings. Change MPU power control register settings, and change the standby wake-up settings and flags. For more details, see the Product Reference Manual PWR section. EXTI can protect sensitive events by restricting the access to control and configuration bits related to these events. Security can be activated per input with bit EXTI TZENR. Security prevents non-secure write access to change settings or mask and clear status of secure inputs. For more details, see the Product Reference Manual EXTI section. Security is applicable only to GPIOZ. After reset, all GPIOZ I.O. pins are secure. GPIOZ I.O. pins can be individually set as secure with the GPIOZ SEC CFGR register. When an I.O. pin is secure, all its I.O. configuration bits are write secure. Input to a secure pin cannot be redirected to a non-secure I.O., whatever its configuration. Output data from a secure pin cannot be replaced by output from another peripheral. Secure I.O. data cannot be redirected to non-secure I.O. Non-secure I.O. data cannot be redirected to secure I.O. Four RTC functions, Alarm A, Alarm B, Wake Up Timer, and Timestamp can be individually configured as secure. RTC can be configured globally secure. RTC initialization and calibration control can be configured secure. Write Secure RTC SCMR is used to control RTC security settings. A silent fail results from a non secure access to RTC SCMR bits. Inheritance of RCC clock and reset control is attached to a resource. RTC is non secure by default. Security settings are persistent in low power. The settings are reset only by backup domain POR and not affected by system reset. Interrupts control, masking and clearing inherits the security properties of the features the interrupt is attached to. The tamper control can be configured as secure. The 128 backup registers are organized in three zones. Zone 1, secure, read and write only by secure. Zone, write secure, write only by secure. Zone 3. Non-secure. TAMP can be configured as secure. Write secure TAMP SCMR register is used to control TAMP security settings. 
The backup register's zone size are programmable. Inheritance of TAMP clock and reset control is attached to a resource. TAMP is non-secure by default. Security settings are persistent in low power. The settings are reset only by backup domain POR and not affected by a system reset. Interrupts control, masking, and clearing inherits the security properties of the features the interrupt is attached to. MDMA supports 32 channels. A channel can be secured by setting the SM bit from MDMA CXCR register, where X is the channel number, 0 to 31. The SM bit can only be modified by secure, write secure bit. MDMA is a routing interrupt to secure and normal lines, according to channel security attributes. When a channel is secure, all its associated registers are write secure. The MDMA AXI master port propagates the security attribute of the corresponding channel. The debug access port, or DAP, is a non-secure bus master. The access to debug resources is controlled by the debug authentication interface issued from BSEC. For more details, see the Product Reference Manual Debug section.